Hello YouTube. This is my Ben Eater inspired 8-bit breadboard computer. I've been working on it for about a month now, just over a month, and I've followed his uh, videos very faithfully and have tried to more or less replicate exactly what he's doing. Um, I Everything's gone pretty well, but I recently got to the point where I was building the program counter, which is this module up here, and this is where my problem came about and I'm hoping that somebody on YouTube will see this video and has also worked on this project and will be able to help me troubleshoot this problem I'm having. So toward the end of video number 23 from his 8-bit breadboard computer playlist, at the 12 minute and 10 second mark in that video, he talks about placing a resistor capacitor on the RAM in signal so that it will only write to RAM on the rising edge of the clock pulse. And he says that we're doing this so that we're not writing to RAM for the entire duration of the clock pulse, and that would be especially important if you're going to manually pulse. Because, you know, if we manually pulse, uh, it might, the pulse might last, you know, for a half second or longer. So the resistor he uses is one kilo ohm, and the capacitor he uses is 10 nanofarad or 0 0.01 microfarad. And you know he walks through the resistor capacitor math on that by multiplying those together. And he says that by using that resistor capacitor combination, we're only going to be writing to RAM for 10 microseconds. And I'll sort of superimpose a picture of a, a, a close-up of what part of the circuit I'm talking about. So I, I've done that, and the problem I'm seeing is that when that capacitor is in place, my program counter doesn't count correctly. And I don't know if you've been paying attention to the program counter since the beginning of the video, but if so, you will have noticed that it skips around. It doesn't reliably count from 0 to 16. It's just that if, if you're looking at it right now, in fact, you can kind of see it, it's jittery. Right now, you, that's a very good one. You could just see it pulsing like two or three times. I've, I've gone through many other elements of the breadboard to try to troubleshoot what that, what might be causing that, but every time I remove that capacitor, it's fine. You know, it, other chips that I thought might have been playing a role, I've swapped them out thinking possibly one of them was defective, but nothing fixes it except for when I remove that capacitor. Now, interestingly enough, and baffling in fact, it just kind of only seems to affect the program counter, because if you've noticed down here, I currently just have um, that register check that we did um, way back and I don't know what the video number was but once the once the AO, once the register A and B and the ALU were done he placed a, a binary 1 on register A and a binary 1 on register B and then outputs the ALU to the bus and then has register A read from the bus so that we can just count and that's what I'm doing here and in just observing this myself I've, I'm not seeing the counts skip around when I'm doing this particular operation. But the whole time that this is running and seemingly running correctly and reliably, the program counter is jittering all over the place. And if I remove that capacitor, it's fine. Now we can, I can help show more about that jittery nature of the, of the program counter by outputting the program counter to the bus and so what I'll do is I'll stop the ALU outputting to the bus and I'll start having the program counter output to the bus. Okay so now I have the program counter outputting to the bus and all the output display is currently doing because I don't have the output register hooked up yet so the only thing that the output display is doing is it's reading uh, just basically like raw data straight off the bus and you can see Now that I've got the program counter outputting to the bus The output display is just it's jittery. It's all over the place and you know, obviously we could also see that Just in the LEDs but down seeing it down here on the display Makes it a little bit more obvious what's going on 
So, yeah, that's my uh, that's my question here for YouTube. I'm hoping somebody can help me resolve this because I've spent many hours over a period of multiple days trying to resolve this, and I'm just at a complete loss. And to just and to kind of prove that the, removing the capacitor fixes it, air quotes fixes it. I'm going to remove the capacitor and just watch what happens on the output display. Okay, so now I have removed the capacitor from the RAM in signal, and now you can see the program counter is behaving as we would expect it to behave. So I'm at a loss on this one. Feedback is wanted and welcomed. Thank you.